Hello and welcome. You're watching One India and this unfortunate train accident in West Bengal is something that has once again raised the concerns and questions over the safety of rail travel in India. Sudhanshu Mani, former general manager, Indian Railways, uh, joins us uh, on the broadcast. Sudhanshu Mani ji is the creator of India's first semi-high speed train set train 18, Vande Bharat Express and retired general manager of the Indian Railways biggest coach factory integral coach factory also known as icf mr money thank you so much for speaking to one india first things first in your right. understanding uh, what went wrong in this uh, unfortunate accident that happened this morning sir? uh so uh, see there i will begin with a caveat whatever information i have is from only from the tv mm -hmm. and uh uh, just trying to understand as to what happened. So it, the in, information is incomplete, but based on mm -hmm. what I have come to know, I'll tell you. Yes. What has happened is uh, this uh, section is an automatic signaling directory, uh, which has been commissioned perhaps recently. Automatic signaling is commissioned to increase the train capacity of any section because in this section, there is a signal every kilometer. And even in... Uh, occupied line, when your signal is not green, it is not taken off, you can wait there for one or two minutes, two minutes at night, one minute a day, in day, and proceed at a restricted speed. It permits you to enter an occupied section. Now, in this case, Kanchenjunga Express seems to have stopped at a signal which was defective. It, has per it had perhaps started moving slowly. Uh, it's not very clear. Either it was moving slowly or it had stopped. And the train behind it, the freight train, mm -hmm. from, from the way the accident has happened, it looks like it disregarded that off sig uh, on signal and continued at a relatively higher speed, maybe 40-50 kilometers per hour, which the driver should not have done. Had he stopped at the signal which was uh, defective or red and then started again, he would not have picked up this much speed to my mind. And the collision would have been much, uh, impact would have been much smaller. So it primarily looks like a mistake by the driver of the freight train. Okay. If there are other aspects, they would come to light about signaling and other things that we mm. don't know yet. Right. So, basically a case of disregard of a Possible. signal aspect by the, by the driver of the right. freight train. Right. Mr. Now, Mani, all... fortunate part, you see, yes. you uh, see, we are fortunate in a way, mm. we, one should not say, the mm. rear coaches of Kanchenjunga were all parcel coaches, two of them. Yes. SLR and parcel coach, which means they were hardly, maybe the guard yes. and nobody mm. else. Right. Otherwise, the casualties would have been much higher. It would have been a horrific accident. So like it has been, a, yes. Yeah, like so we that, have another train. You see that uh, you would have seen one one uh, rear coach which has climbed over the locomotive. Yes, yes. You yes, can yes, imagine if it was yes. with with people. Yeah, you yes. can imagine if it was with passengers, uh, the haywalk would have taken place. Right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely, uh, Mr. Mani. Uh, time and again, uh, you know, these unfortunate accidents somehow uh, in a country as big as uh, India and uh, the rail network also as widespread as India, I don't think any other country could boast of uh, the same thing. Several mechanisms have been put in place. Uh, one among them is the Kavach uh, aspect, which again comes into the question mark. How efficient do you see it? What are the bottlenecks if they are not implemented in totality? Or is it something else that is needed to be done? Good question. So I'll, I'll first let me tell you that whenever such accident takes place, we talk of consciousness of staff, sensitizing staff, mm -hmm. training. And these things are, of course, they are necessary. But we always talk of them every time there is an accident. Uh, it should be followed more in uh, spirit and not like a lip service. That's obvious. Now mm -hmm. coming to Kavach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Kavach is a powerful tool of signaling which mm -hmm. Indian engineers have developed. And in the present case, if this section had Kavach, hmm. and if the rear train had, uh, because Kavach, you know, has ground installation as well as the trains and locomotives. Yes, yes, so suppose, 
suppose this section was covered by kavach and the rear train had the kavach uh, instrument on the locomotive this accident would not have taken place okay two things it would have the moment it saw a red signal it would not allow the driver to pass that signal at high speed it will first let it stop there for one or two minutes whichever is stipulated and okay. then not permit it to take speed beyond a certain limit okay. which could be 15 kilometers or so okay so kavach would have prevented this in case the front rear uh, front train also had kavach mm -hmm. then kavach would have ensured that this train stopped 100 meters short of that train. right so right. this is a good example where kavach would have totally prevented this accident and mm -hmm. that's why kavach is very important fast roll out of kavach money nowadays is not a problem mm -hmm. center is giving all the funds to railways right. the problem is very slow execution of the project a successful project Mm -hmm. it is still based only in south central railway and proliferation is, has not taken place it mm -hmm. is time that uh, the complete focus of railways is diverted towards uh, installation of kavach right. as fast as possible all over major trunk route of indian railways right one final question uh, namani sir you have been part of uh, the train 18 vande bharat express and also you have worked with uh, the biggest uh, coach factory integral coach factory also so you have seen things happening from both the aspects from the uh, manufacturing of the trains the hardware also and also in <coughs> the overall mechanism and functioning of uh, the railways on a particular route or line or in the direction that you maintain more often than not uh, mr money what happens is when an accident happens an unfortunate accident like this happens then only these things come up uh, that uh, ye aisa kiya ja sakta tha wo waisa kiya ja sakta tha is there any possibility or has india or indian railways reached that point as of now that we can prevent and say for certainty at least 99% that now the routes are error free and this won't happen so uh so i'll not be able to assign a percentage but let's mm -hmm. say balasor happened in june last year absolutely one year has passed yes yes so right been. from that time not me everyone has been saying that this is time that kavach should be rolled out on a much faster basis okay, okay. so it will take time it will not happen overnight but mm -hmm. the speed is slow once we have kavach installed all over our major trunk routes Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 90% of such accidents would be avoided 10% may still happen for example balasore would have happened with reduced impact mm -hmm. that's what another important thing you see safety consciousness is fine but another very important tool which has become available is artificial intelligence and i've been saying it others have also been saying it huge data is available with railway station data train data Mm -hmm. they are in cocooned they are they are not collated they should be collated and artificial intelligence applied to generate very very serious alerts on day to day basis not a plethora of alerts right. just very serious 10 alerts and that would drive a change in culture safety culture of the uh, railways and would have very far reaching dividends so right. instead of talking too many things i would only talk of two okay. things kavach and use of artificial intelligence to collate and then examine this data to gen generate post mortem is fine i'm talking of genuine alerts mm -hmm. because such situations keep happening every day and they are pushed under the carpet right With ai employed and generation of alerts it would not happen so that would go a long way towards making indian railways much safer than it is today okay so the use of ai which india is also promoting a lot and uh, yeah. obviously kavach uh, Uh, some integrated systems so um, uh, one final question sir you know uh, this is a time of distress many families uh, would be worried uh, emergency contact numbers have been sent out you have been part of the railways for the be better part of your career also at to the H higher echelons of uh, uh, railways uh, indian railways what message would you like to give to the uh, family members those who might be in a panic mode as of now and assure them from the railways side that yes help is on its way see the people who have always uh, have lost some near or dear one mm -hmm. any message from my side would be infectious because 
it, nothing can really make up for the loss they've had. Those who are injured, I the way the reports are coming, state government is active, railways are active. I would only say that things are better than earlier and you would be taken well taken care of. This is mm -hmm. all I can say. And I would like to assure, yes, that tools are available. If railway shows a little bit more focus, we can march towards making our uh, railways much, much safer than it is. Right. Uh, that's what I would like to say at this point. Mr. Mani, thank you so much for speaking to One India and One India family. Thanks you for taking time out in such time of distress and such short notice also. We really appreciate your uh, inputs and your time. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for calling me. Thank you. Thank you.